We touched on voicemails last time I was here, but I want to talk about it a little bit more, okay? What are we selling on the voicemail? What are we selling? We're selling the phone call back. Write that down, please. You're selling the phone call back on the voicemail. You're just selling the phone call back. Now, I don't think I left any voicemails on here, but if I did, my voicemail probably would have been like this. Hey, it is Kyle. Give me a call back when you get the chance, please. It is about your 2019 Corolla. Call me as soon as you get the chance. Thank you. And I would have said my number a couple times. Why would I have said, hey, this is Kyle from Toyota. Give me a call when you get this, please. It's about your Corolla. My number is. Call me back as soon as you can, please. Why would I have said it like that? Give them a reason to call back. Give them a reason to call back. Now, I don't want to scare anybody and make people think there's something wrong with their car. But if I say it's Kyle from Toyota calling about your 2019, they don't know why they're calling. They may think it's a service issue. They may think it's about their payment. They may think anything. And when they call, I got to keep that same energy up. Oh, cool. Thank you for calling me. I appreciate it. The reason I'm calling you is because I want to buy your car. Keep that high energy. So, again, I'm never going to lie to anybody or anything, but I got to have a, a, a reason for them to call me back. And it's also important to remember, a lot of people right now do not listen to their voicemails. I don't listen to my voicemail. What do I do? Read them, right? Hey, Kyle. Hey, this is Michael from AutoFi. Give me a call when you get the chance. I read all my voicemails. I don't listen unless I have to.